In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create a really easy glam look. And this is especially for my spoony friends who might not be feeling very glam this time of year. I in particular, I'm not feeling great even as I do this voiceover. It's, it's been, it's been a day, but, um, I wanted to create a look for you guys. A nice, simple, easy look that is also very, very glam. So let's get started in creating this look. Oh, and if you are new to the makeup chair, then please hit the subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate it, but let's continue. So as always, we start off by applying some eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to give us a blank canvas to work on because it has a slight tone to it. So it's almost like a concealer. And it's also going to give our eyeshadow something to hold on to so that it's going to last longer. And it's just going to make the blend and everything just so much easier. So get yourself a good eyeshadow primer. And the palette that I'm using today is this one that's by Up Cosmetics. It's the 10 palette. And I'm going to be using a lighter shade on a blending brush and just applying this all over the lid. Now, I'm not really setting the primer. I'm, I'm actually more creating an opaque base. I want like a very like neutral base because everything else that we're going to apply is going to be more, more like nudie tones, like deeper nudie tones. So I want to have a nice base underneath. So I'm just applying this all over the lid, right up to the brows, just covering the whole eye area. And then I'm going to take a shade that's about one shade darker than my skin tone. And I'm still applying that with the same brush. This is a blending brush. And I'm just going to apply this mostly on the outer edge and then also into the crease. And you've seen me do this many, many times. It's kind of a form of contouring the eye shape. It's also great for beginners, but also um, hooded eyes in particular, because basically it camouflages any hoodedness and, and contours the eye shape and it works on everybody. It's, it's one of my favorite techniques of just applying a kind of a neutral shade in this area and your crease and above the crease area on your brow bone is the main area you want to focus on. And then I'm going to take a slightly deeper shade. So this is like a a deep kind of chocolatey color. I'm going to apply this on the outer edge. So this is like your contour shade. It should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And I'm just going to apply this with a small brush. I'm sorry that it's so out of focus. I didn't realize and I, I couldn't actually see the monitor, but I'm just kind of focusing this mostly on the outer edge and then using my blending brush to kind of smudge and blend this in. And I just kind of took my time with this and built it up to a nice depth. Don't worry too much about going too dark on the lid because we will be cutting it anyway. And by cutting it, I mean, we're going to be applying concealer. <laughs> the next shade that I'm going to take has a little bit more of a brighter tone to it. Very similar to the shade that we applied in the crease, except this has almost like um, a little a little bit more pigment to it in a way because it's it's just that little bit brighter. And basically we're going to apply this focusing mostly in the crease and the brow bone area, blending it kind of everywhere, really just to add a little bit more depth and tone to the look. It's, it's basically like a very neutral form of a fade shade, which I talked about on Monday. So if you haven't seen that, go and check that out, but it, it's kind of a neutral fade shade. And then if by magic, I'm going to magically cut my crease, which is basically just applying a little bit of concealer. And I focused in kind of an upwards butterfly kind of shape. So it's kind of going up in the crease. Don't worry too much about the shaping that you're creating. Just apply a little bit of concealer on the inner part of your lid. That's all you have to do. And over the top of this cut crease area or concealer, I'm going to apply this beautiful glitter. Now this is so sheeny. It almost looks wet, which I really like. Like it almost looks like it's kind of damp and kind of glistening and glossy, but it's glittery. I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to apply that over the concealed area and kind of over the lid, but mostly focusing in that inner corner, which was actually really difficult to do with my fingertips and I like applying glitters with my fingertips. I just think they go on really well, but my nails kept getting in the way, but basically just tapping this on that inner corner. Then you want to apply lots of mascara and some lashes. And of course, of course I would hit myself. Of 
course that would happen. I wasn't in the greatest mood when I was filming this because I felt so, so, so sick. But you know what? It all worked out in the end. So once I cleaned up underneath the eyes, I then moved on to applying my foundation. And I didn't realize how dark my under eye circles have actually become. I don't usually have a problem with discoloration under my eyes, but damn, I'm, I'm not looking so good. So I just applied my foundation using my F20. And then I applied some concealer. I used the, um, I think it's Tattoo Concealer by Essence. It's really good. Kind of camouflage everything. I could have done with a, a little bit, a, a little bit of corrector. Just, just a little bit of corrector. Would have been great, but I didn't. And um, we ended up with this, but you know, it's fine. And I also then just did my eyebrows off camera because at this stage I was, I was getting really tired and it was really hard to just sit there on camera. But anyway, moving on, I'm going to apply a little bit of the other shade in this, in this palette as my bronzer. It's kind of like a bronzer blush. I just applied a little bit onto my cheeks and kind of blended it up around my hairline. And then I almost set my house on fire because one of my lights started burning behind me. Now my next little trick is to apply a little bit of setting spray on your face. You probably already do this, but for anyone who doesn't, this is awesome. Apply a little bit of setting spray. Take that beautiful glossy color, you know, that we applied on the lids, that sheeny one. Um, it's no, it's not that one. The arrow is pointing to the wrong thing. That one, that that's what it's supposed to be pointing to. I just applied this on the area, like where I applied highlight. And because it's slightly damp because of the setting spray, it's going to hold on to a little bit more. And yes, it's very glittery and shiny, but you know what? It's the holidays. So why not? I also then went in with a lipstick in a red red because again it's the holidays you're allowed to wear red it's it's the most acceptable time to wear red as is all times but in particular this time of year i love wearing red it just makes me happy when i have red on i just feel like i smile more i don't know why but um that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed it and you know what i would love to see what looks you guys are creating so you can tag me it's at shenady katie on instagram whether it's on the day or you know or the day before or anytime really or maybe you're gonna get some new makeup and you want to play around with it i'd love to see the looks because i i get so inspired by the stuff that you guys tag me in so I'd, I'd really love to be tagged in some more things so i hope you guys are staying safe and staying well it's an odd time at the moment so um yes be kind to yourself you know um take care of yourself and i should hopefully see you in a video really soon and i'm sorry for my voice <laughs> um yeah my voice is a little bit tired and i'm a little bit i hope this voiceover was okay okay i will talk to you guys in a video really soon bye for now my friends